With just 10 days to go, Bill Krejci's transformation into a wine sommelier has hit the rocks. His decision to watch a football game rather than work on the restaurant floor with Mickey has left tensions running high. I do feel that those hours that he could have spent on the floor with me uh, are going are gonna to cost him the contest. I need to get out of this goddamn character because it's driving me crazy. I can't believe he made that decision. And that man has a talent for justifying anything, anything he can justify. I love my sports. I love my beer. I love my family. And they're trying to take it all away from me. And it's pissing me off. I really don't understand. And he really let me down. While the dust settles between Bill and Mickey, he works with Stefan at the Ritz-Carlton. So starting from tonight, now you cannot have any excuses anymore. You just have to do it the right way. Yes. Bill's trying to immerse himself into the role of William, the deferential sommelier. I love Zinfandel. It's one of my favorites. So I'm always looking to try as much as I can to, just to, to make my job that much easier. But his new role is getting him down. I miss myself. I really miss Bill. And I haven't seen Bill for a while. And it's, I know it's a role, and I know it's a game, and I know it's, it's not real, but if I lose Bill, I lose the challenge. And that's what they don't understand, is that Bill plus William equals victory. It's five days until the final test and the first time that Bill has seen Mickey since their argument. He's been given $100 to go out and buy six quality wines for Mickey to taste. Taylor's here to ensure Bill keeps in character. This wine costs $12. Will Mickey like it? I'm not, I, don't, I don't mean to be a complete jerk, but that's really terrible. I know it is. So it's very, go it's, to I was going to say very bland. That's, that's awful. So will his second choice be any better? I've had some swill and I've dealt with it. That's awful. Watch it Let's just toss that, that bottle. Just have to tell you, I'm this really one. ashamed that I actually have to taste this stuff. Bill's choices are just not good enough. And he's still using the wrong words to describe wine. What's the color difference between these two? Less yellow, a little, uh, little more clear, picks up the lights a little bit more. The pale straw? Yes, exactly. Pale or burnt grass. Burnt grass? Burnt grass. Would burnt grass be brown? No, it's usually lighter, it's not brown. It's burnt grass, I see more than straw, I'm not a farm boy. Okay. You're acting really defensive, if I could just interject for a second. You don't act like this with me. Mm -hmm. I'm not a farm boy, stuff like that. Wasted. I'm not being trying to be mean to him, and I don't think he's trying to be mean to me. It's just, it's a little uh, rapport that we have on the side also. You're acting like a ass. You're very defensive. You know, I know where you're coming from. I'm just trying to let you know where I'm coming from. You're going to have some real jackasses at your table, and you're not going to be able to barb with them. You're going to have to suck it up and take it. It's been a disaster. It should have been a graduation ceremony. It should have been, look what I've learned. Look what I'm doing. Look how much I love this. Let him, let him have a horrible night and let him think that this was a miserable failure, and he disappointed everybody, and, and then buck up. I'm really sick of this pretentious wine attitude. It's freaking wine. It's grapes, it's sugar, it's yeast, it's nothing else. Beer is much more complex. And that's what these people don't realize. They think, because it's wine, it's so much better, more complex. You know what? Screw you. Every spare minute, Bill frantically studies every wine he can lay his hands on, determined to prove that he's up to the job of being a sommelier. There's only 48 hours until test day. As part of his final preparations, Bill has been asked to select the wine for an important dinner party. So I'm going to go with this for my first course. Okay, the Blanc de Blanc? Yes. He's going to be the sommelier at a private dinner for Evan Goldstein, chairman of the Court of Master Sommeliers of America. It's his last chance to show Mickey he's got what it takes to be a sommelier. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. 
His pouring skills still leave a lot to be desired. And he poured um, the sparkling wine. It looked like a beer. I, I... On to the next wine, and Evan throws him some tough questions. I, I'd be curious as to why you selected Sangiovese to go with Duck. Um, I usually like to pair a uh, lighter tannined um, red wine with Duck. What if you had chosen a Brunello? Um, my taste, you know, a lot, a lot of this is having, you know, I go by my taste, but I try to read, you know, the, mm -hmm. the customer's taste. Um, and for, for Although Bill has no idea what a Brunello is, he successfully answers the question, much to Mickey's delight. You didn't know what the hell he was talking about, and you held it fine. You could have said, why didn't you pair it with a Pontiac, and you would have said the same thing. That's outstanding. All right, so that, that little tap dance was very good. The meal is over, and it's time for Evan's verdict. First of all, let me compliment you on your, your appearance. Um, a lot of what a, a great sommelier is all about is the image that you project forward. One of the things that you can definitely work on in your next 48 hours is just, you know, Mm -hmm. Calming down, trying to keep your hands steady, not dripping. Mm -hmm. um, things like that are very, very important. Okay, 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 great. Bill's wine choices were just right, and Mickey is impressed. Wines were perfect. Congratulations. You did, Thank you. You did good. Um, Thank you. You did all the things that I wanted you to do when you present the wines. Great. I'm very proud of you. Those wines are great. Thank you. The night of the final test has arrived. Three weeks ago, beer-loving Bill Krejci couldn't tell the difference between red and white wine. But tonight, he's playing the part of wine sommelier William and will be serving at a private event at Bacar, one of San Francisco's finest restaurants. Three genuine sommeliers will also be serving the tables. Mr. Green works in one of LA's top restaurants and has been a sommelier for five years. Now I'm the sommelier, the, the head sommelier at my restaurant, La Cachette. Mr. Red is a recipient of the Wine Spectator Award of Excellence and has four years' experience. It'd be my pleasure to recommend some aperitifs today. Mr. Blue is a member of the Court of Master Sommeliers and has worked in the industry for 10 years. So I think this will be a nicer pairing with the foods. And Mr. Yellow is Bill Creechie, a complete newcomer to wine and a sommelier for just three weeks. I'm here to help you with your selection for your uh, main course. Three experts will be asked to judge the sommeliers on their service skills. They have no idea there's a faker amongst them. Misha Hom is the food and wine critic for Zagat's Guide to San Francisco. Elio Lucas is a chef and restaurant owner with over 20 years experience. But the most difficult judge to fool will be Jake Kosef, a sommelier himself at a top Seattle restaurant. During the meal, every sommelier will have to serve one course of wine to each of the three judges. Mickey, Stefan, and Taylor are hidden away downstairs, watching Bill's every move on closed circuit TV. He's doing the neck thing. So Tony's gotta relax his neck. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna kill myself now. First up, the champagne course. Can Bill convince judge number one that he's the real yeah, thing? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good Welcome evening. to the car. Um, can I start you out this evening with some sparkling wine or champagne? Uh, yes, I think we'll start with the uh, Vouv. Here we go. Earthquake. The Verve Clicquot, non-vintage. Um, this is done more in a wine style, um, aged for six years. It should have a nice yeasty quality. This is showing the bottle nicely. He poured correctly and he poured the right amount in the glass too. Good. Bill almost forgets to serve the lady next, but saves himself just in time. And he did everything and right. And he did the he, woman he, next? He did much better than I expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, first. It's a good, it's a good wow. spot. Here's to a great day. Okay. And in that right on, this He's pulling off the pen with his teeth. He yeah. just pulled the pen off with his teeth. Did anybody see that, do you think? I don't, I don't no. know. Oh, my <laughs> God. With the first judge safely served, it's time for Bill to deal with the second. Good evening. Uh, once again, I'm uh, William, another one of the sommeliers here. Um, can I help with some wine for your appetizers? Absolutely. Um, I'm hoping you might make a couple of recommendations to us. The Stag's Leap Chardonnay. I think that would work well with both dishes. Um, we all drink way too much Chardonnay. Okay. Yes, I'm not big on Chardonnays myself. Okay. If you were sitting down at the table, mm -hmm. what, would you be, what would you be drinking if it wasn't Chardonnay with? Beer. 
<laughs> He's drinking a Michelob. I could probably go with the Behringer, which is is more of a, uh, it's a mixture of four different bridles. Why don't we try that? All right, I'll bring it right up for you. Thanks Thank so you much. much. That's good, that's good. Wait till he serves the wine. <laughs> The appetizers are served. Will Bill's wine recommendation complement the food his table is ordered? I hope this guy likes this wine. Outstanding. Worked well? Yes. I'm really enjoying Excellent. it. Thank you. Uh, Great. Uh, please, I don't want to interrupt. Please enjoy it. Thank you. You're welcome. He's doing much better than I had expected, Me too. I have to say. He's a little bit nervous, though. Meanwhile, Mr. Green is also impressing his guests. This gentleman here has elegance and grace oh, yeah. and yeah. confidence and, yeah. and the haircut. Nobody's going to pick him as the, as the fake. Pick, pick my appetizer, pick my entree, pick my dessert, pick the wine. You can pick up the check if you want. <laughs> <laughs> On the other table, Mr. Red has forgotten which region his wine came from. You know what? You actually caught me on that one. I believe it's the Napa side, but please don't quote me on that. Okay. I could be wrong. The guy with the red badge looks the least the part. He looks less professional, I would say. I'm more of a southern boy in California. Yeah. Mr. Blue is putting in a great performance. I don't think anybody's going to pick him. I mean, look how poised he is. Yeah, yeah he seems the most comfortable, the most refined. Ooh, yeah, mm -hmm. good. Bill has just one more judge to tackle. Would you go for a white with that? I wouldn't. I, I mean, <coughs> if you wanted to, you'd have to get more of a, a full-bodied white. These guys are listening to Bill. <laughs> I never try to dissuade a customer if that's what they want. Now, if they order it and then they don't like it, <laughs> I don't say I told you so either. Right. <laughs> what I'm really thrilled about is how relaxed he is, you know, that he's being jovial and he's being amicable and, you know, he's, he's not holding himself real stiff. I leave you to enjoy this and uh, your entree should be up shortly. Great, thank you. You're welcome. His banter was much more natural. natural. Suddenly, disaster strikes. The other guests are eating their entrees, but Bill's table has a problem. We're um, wondering, um, our entrees are cold? Okay. Is that, in, is that intentional or? Just say I'll check, just say I'll check. You should be sending them back or? Let me check with the chef. Okay, you know, I'll that would be great. Right. I am happy so happy he just said let me check. Now are, are all of them cold? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. I'll, I'm having someone bring you up another. Please apologize. I apologize. So, it's okay. We just wanted to really enjoy the, the combination of food. Exactly. I apologize. So no, just, they're taking care fault. of for you right now. Thanks. This is totally unfamiliar territory for Bill. In the absence of a waiter, a genuine sommelier would almost certainly clear the plates himself. Oh, man, I can't believe this. What's going on? Why isn't the waiter there now? Yeah, because the longer it sits there, the more she's upset that he didn't take it. The server will be up shortly. As okay, do you want to just clear our tables or um, do you want to just let us? He'll go ahead and take care okay. of it for you. So okay. everybody